And I just want to share out a great experience I had today with a white belt who really gets it. And uh, this young man has been training with us for about a year. Uh, probably going to get his blue belt somewhere in 2022, um, either this summer or this fall. And um, I, I really think the reason why he's going to get it is because he gets it. We rolled to get, we rolled together today, and uh, he was kind of all over the place, almost like he was a brand new white belt in many ways, and made some mistakes. And I was submitting him and giving him that feedback loop on what he was doing wrong, and. The thing that really made me, that I thought was powerful, is at the end when we got done, he said, oh, sorry, I was kind of, you know, all over the place. Uh, I was trying a lot of new things. And I thought that was amazing. And my brain immediately snapped to uh, this author, researcher, uh, Brene Brown, who is a psychologist and talks a lot about shame and, and, and really, uh, that's kind of her area of expertise, but, um, she talks about fear a lot too. And the ability for all of us to be vulnerable is where creativity is born. That willingness to make mistakes, that willingness to set our ego aside and try some things to be vulnerable is what helps us be creative and grow. And, um, this young man, is doing a fantastic job because he gets it. He is is developing in a way that will make him a great jujitsu player one day, and uh, he understands how to advance himself. Set that ego aside. He's going against a purple belt. It's it's no big deal. There, there's there's no guaranteed win. There's no guaranteed losses there. But he's he was willing to try in order to get better, and he was willing to be vulnerable in order to explore that creativity. And today, things he was trying weren't really working, but he's going to continue to develop those. He'll make some mistakes, he'll tweak some things, and he's going to continue to get better. And I think that's what we all need to do in our jiu-jitsu. Set that ego aside, make that effort to be vulnerable in order to explore that creativity, in order to really grow as jiu-jitsu players. All right?